guess like IPO is one, but also it's kind of like Santa Claus. It stops being a startup when you stop believing it's a startup. Maybe when TechCrunch stops calling them a startup. Maybe when they IPO or when they end. On an engineering perspective, I would say that it stops becoming a startup once there's like a there's too much of a process and you really don't have as much impact where like you know that like you're working on this and it's gonna go out when when it's done pretty much. But once there's no chance that you'll go to zero, well maybe that's not true. I think probably around Wow, I think it's really hard. I just think business is hard. It's hard to build a business, even when, even to the point where you get to being an IPO business, it's still really hard. I think, I don't know. It's, it's <laughs> there maybe like around 100 employees. Even when they get like 50 million dollars. <laughs> I mean, it says they're dead or grow big. When you have to pay market rate salaries. Probably at like, either like. Series D or like 500 people? Maybe like 50 employees. After they've started up. <laughs> when you start getting in trouble for things. I looked up the definition of startup once and it was like growth was a big part of it. Like everything, all the operations of a startup are like centered around a scalable business model. So I guess once growth stops being like paramount, 